priesthood is about sacrifice now most times believers even those who teach about sacrifice whether it's finance or what service in the house of god the truth is that respectfully speaking most times we teach it from a fleshly standpoint and so it does not provide the power that the bible says should come from it are we together when peter had a vision and he was sent to the house of cornelius the testimony that led to that encounter was the fact that the prayers of cornelius and then his giving watch this please please understand this you will bless god and you will thank me for this revelation that i give you it will be a powerful tool that you will close and open doors with the priesthood of believers when you make spiritual intercession when you command possibilities listen carefully listen carefully please the bible gives us a very powerful mystery in the book of revelation that the old heaven and the old earth will one day pass away now this is powerful a physical space will one day move to where we do not know so automatically we know that physical scenarios can move they are living things are we together a life and a destiny that is full of pain is a physical scenario akin to an old heaven and an old earth that there is a technology that can move a sin out of a man's life and bring another one follow me please now he says that in terms of the new jerusalem but it's a principle you must understand that means that i must find a way and i can find a way to close certain seasons in my life and open others if the old heaven and the old earth can go away then it means anything in my life i can choose that the time has come for a phase of my life to go away and i want to show you the technology that controls that outcome pray in the spirit for one minute please pray in the spirit for one minute in the name of jesus I pray that you will use this truth and reprogram your life and turn your life and your destiny into a wonder. Please let me have your attention for a few minutes. We're going to pray. Genesis 8:22. Please look up. The Bible says that when the earth was judged, the earth was judged with flood. Flood is one of the elements of the supernatural, is water. And then the animals came and Noah offered it was a sacrifice. Please look up of all of the clean beasts he offered sacrifice and then the lord smelled a sweet savour from it and made a proclamation that is very very prophetic it says while the earth so the earth is involved in this talk look up please while the earth remains seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease it's an ordinance that came from the mouth of god are we together now that seed time and harvest shall not cease now watch this the principle of what in the body of it's been known for many years and not many people have understood it is called the principle of seed faith listen very carefully please listen Great men like Ora Roberts and Kenneth E. Hagin and great fathers of faith, patriarchs who have gone transited in glory. They did their best to explain it as best as they understood. But remember, revelation is progressive. Are we together now? Yes. So they communicated the perspectives that God gave to them. But one of the advantage of the apostolic and the prophetic ministry is that you are given illumination by the spirit to see and then you are granted the grace that can make all men see. Ephesians 3 is a grace that makes men see. 
not just men here men see insight illumination understanding now please look up the principle of seed faith please look up you're about to learn something that will change your life forever the principle of seed faith is the only principle that is able to mimic what jesus did jesus said verily verily i say unto you he said except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies it abides alone are we bible students and that means that the principle of resurrection is such that the seed dies not that the seed enters the ground entering the ground is not death death therefore is not the cessation of life it is the gateway into another realm we call it the says listen 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 you have to understand this that means the door that leads to life is called death death is not a dead end death is a door when you want to go into life you follow the door called death now watch this that means watch this please oh dear when jesus was about to end a dispensation and begin another one he followed the door of death are we together now and in dying in his resurrection he brought many sons into glory do we agree now that is the same principle that happens with your seed the bible says that when you sow a seed and agriculture attests to the fact that when you sow a seed for a while that seed follows that door too you call it death it literally dies and then suddenly something begins to happen another life are we together now and then it produces after its kind are we together now the principle of seed faith is based on death and resurrection not money that means whatever is tied to that seed as the seed dies it must die are you getting the point now i can take everything in my life my trouble my pain my frustration and tie it to the seed the moment the seed dies the law declares that that dimension of my life must follow the seed to the grave and die too so i can end seasons in my life and open another one and the mystery here is found in um, first corinthians 15 please look at this verse 38 that god is able to give your seed another body this is still priesthood i can end shame and not have more shame as a harvest god can change the body of what died and make it laughter because seeds should produce after their kind but that there is a technology because there are some things you want to kill you don't just want more of look at this when you sow corn it's because you want more corn are we together now when you sow rice it's because you want more rice but there are times in the technology of God there are times you sow certain things to kill them not because you want more of them and so that your faith can reconvert that manifestation so that it is not what died that comes out as the harvest god is able to give your seed another body that means i can sow shame i can sow delay and tie it to a seed and bury it as that seed dies my shame too dies my delay dies now i'm not going to get more delay as a harvest I may get speed God can reprogram that delay and what will come as a harvest is speed this is priesthood we can use seeds with understanding to end seasons and open others but God giveth it a body as it had pleased him and to every seed its own body I can sow in tears and not reap more tears i can reap joy it's, it looks like a deviation of the law because every seed gives birth after its kind if i sow shame i should reap more shame but you can sow it because you want to kill it listen there are things in your life that need to come to an end and i'm telling you just saying it must come to an end is not enough he programmed the earth as a system of advantage for you that you can carry a seed with understanding not manipulation 
with understanding and begin to list the seasons that must come to an end if the old earth and the old heaven can pass away then everything in your life can also pass away so you can end seasons lord i do not experience favor in my life i move forward but by struggle that scenario is like an old heaven and an old earth you can tie it to a seed that's why i said it somewhere and um, let me say it here it is dangerous to steal money in the house of god because you don't know what who is killing with the seed is dropping if you pick a seed that has not died what is on it is also alive it's true you see what went wrong with judas because people were sowing seeds and judas was helping himself judas did not just die of frustration many things killed him someone's suicidal thoughts was sown away in that seed and he kept receiving it and did not allow it die your seed can program certain seasons in your life it is still part of priesthood now the, the the challenge is that because i guess because most seeds come as money and and so most people think that it is just a church manipulation to extract seeds from people now respectfully speaking i know that here and there sometimes people do not approach this subject of seed with integrity and and all of that but that does not mean that the principle is not true there are people who are long overdue to enter certain strong seasons and if god sowed jesus to get us then it is important for you to understand that you can bury certain seasons and open up others and there are times that god can give speed please hear what i'm telling you the things i tell you are the things that i do i have ended seasons in my life and open others it's not just the will of god you enforce it through priesthood remember that priesthood is about sacrifice the sacrifice of spiritual legislation in prayer the sacrifice of warfare in prayer and damn your spiritual climate using the power and the technology of the seed it is true and it works that you can choose to say lagos is a place of abundance and blessings and God is a God of portions. That means there is a portion allocated for me, Rehoboth. There is a space that has been given to me, but it is refusing to come. And so you can call forth all of the lack, the limitation, and tie them to a seed. As that seed dies, you start rejoicing because you are looking forth for the harvest. It works wonders, and it is true. The integrity of God is at the back of it. Many people have unconsciously receive testimonies from these principles and you just hear them say look i was tired i was tired and then i sowed the seed and things changed but god is adding to our understanding it is not the money that brings you the sacrifice it is the priesthood the revelation of priesthood that is back of it is what is responsible